What's up guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watchers. So, it is the weekly reset. However, there are a couple of things that are actually going on this week in Destiny 2. For example, we are now able to go ahead and kill the Undying Mind from the Vex portal that is by Ikora in the tower. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the tower first. Starting off with uh, Zavala, we need to go ahead and complete 8 bounties from him. From Lord Shax. This wonderful guy called the Gunsmith, as well as eight bounties from Gambit. Then we need to go ahead and get 5,000 XP for your clan, as well as get 1,000 parts collected. Oh, I'm sorry. 100% <laughs> of the Vex parts collected. Coming down to the Vanguard. We need to go ahead and complete three uh, bounties, as well as... Uh, complete five Nightfall Ordeals, as well as one with 100,000 points. Come over to Gambit. We need to complete three Gambit matches, as well as three Gambit Prime matches. As for Crucible, we have Control. We need to complete four Core matches, as well as uh, four Rotator matches. And up top, we have Mayhem, as well as Breakthrough. And as for the moon, we got a couple things going on here. We need to go ahead and defeat 30 nightmares, as well as complete the memory quest for Eris Morn. Then we have the Nightmare Hunt Pride, which we need to complete three uh, nightmares, as well as uh, Nightmare Hunt completed on Master Difficulty. Ooh. So we have Nightmare Hunt Pride. Uh, servitude. Here's the mission, which we actually need to complete uh, in the deep. And then last nightmare is isolation. So let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. Welcome, Guardian. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that nostalgic. On the front page for the weekly offerings, we have Precision Strike Emote. I'm sorry, Precise Strike. Then we have Ding. I mean, it kind of would make more sense if it made noise. Just saying. Then we have the What If emote for the Monte Carlo. I'm sorry, not emote. <laughs> Ornament. <laughs> uh, then we have the Golden Pride. Ooh. Vehicle that looks nice. Oh my god, I want one. Look at it, that looks beautiful. Then we have the uh, Profiteer Shell, aka Go Shell. That uh, looks pretty interesting to say the least. And then, last but not least, we have the Nostalgic and Grand. Coming down here for the Bright Dust, we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard of the Crucible. Then we have the uh, Oil Gunmetal Shader. That's what it looks like. Yes, I still have this wonderful Festival Lost uh, helmet on. Then we have the Bruised Blush. And then we have the Blind Clutch Transmat Effect. Then we have this wonderful Ghost Shell. And then last but not least, the Eat It Up emote. Seasonal offerings all remain the same every uh, week. Same thing with the Archive. Coming down for the Bright Dust section, we have the Eat It Up emote again, as well as the uh, Yoenir vehicle. It's pretty much a vehicle that looks like the Yoen. Then we have Ikora's Resolve ship. I actually have this, so my Warlock looks pretty cool. Then we have this Tower Shell. The uh, Foretelling Ornament for the Bad Omens. Uh, 
the Imperium Cartograph or Cartographer mask. That actually looks pretty badass. I really like it. I want it. And then last but not least for the items, we have the Moonbound Protection. And that's all it is. Coming down here for your Super Bowl, we have your Gleaming Boon and Vanguard of the Crucible. Then we have your wonderful shader. It's called Iridescent Coral, and that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. I like the way it looks. It's kind of shiny, but hey, that's whatever. Blind Clutch again. Then we have the Deep Sea uh, Yacht Shader. Not a fan of it. Then we got your Celebrate Newness Trans Mat Effect. And then last but not least, the AI Com Respute and Reboot Trans Mat Effect. I don't know, some of the Trans Mat Effects actually are worth getting. And then all the way down here, we have all the campaigns and stuff that you own. Okay, so apparently this is the portal that is said to be f completed, but it doesn't really look completed. And looks like that guy's still working on it. This is it, Guardian. This is our chance to kill the Undying Mind for good and contain the Vex on Luna. The portal works. Zavala and I tested it ourselves two dozen times. That's two dozen timelines where the Undying Mind will never return. Still, hundreds, thousands more timelines remain. It will take all of us working together to stop this. Gather your fire team. Fine tune your loadouts. It's time for us to do what we guardians do best. Get in there and fight. I am not afraid of the dark. So it's here. But how do you turn it on? I wonder if it only props when you have a full fire team. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.